day of the week, fellas. It's time for Super Smash Saturday. I, I, my name is not Noah's here, so that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We are here with some actually new faces, particularly, even though it's particularly. Oh, we're in it! Let's freaking go! Alright, cool. It's time, fellas. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh my god. It's so awesome. It's so epic. And it's so amazing how this is turning out right now. We got some new faces, some new players, some new potential show ups and blow ups, or what I like to call. Yeah. Blow ups. <laughs> blow ups. Damn, they're playing rock, paper, scissors right now. This is more interesting than this set. <laughs> Dang, got a ghost party. All right, we got Mighty Man and Skillager. I wonder what skill. I wonder who Skillager plays, guys. I, let, let me see what, what the last like seven letters are. Illager. Oh, what, what rhymes with Illager? I guess he does play Villager. <laughs> I've seen him play Villager. Anyway, I don't know who Mighty Man plays. If I had to guess, that sounds like a Mario tag, but I could be wrong.
Alright. Alright. Big gaming. Look, Hello, he's not gentlemen. taller than me. The chair is just shorter. <laughs> right, no, I, I am taller than you. That's true. That's pretty true. Never mind. Uh, anyway, game one. We got Navi and No Mamet. A Peach versus Steve matchup. Yeah, the thing, the thing that Steve can do against Peach Ooh, is definitely amazing camping. Amazing combo but right off the start using yeah. uh, Steve's blocks to his advantage. Yeah, that's the thing that Peach has to do in this matchup is just fish for those strings and just stay close or else Steve is going to camp and get materials. Just like that. Those float cancels are really devastating against Steve. Yeah, he's, uh, they're getting really consistent, or Navi's really consistent with those float cancels, as you'd uh, expect from a P train. Ooh, he wanted to go for that shield break. Or shield poke. Cool. But yeah, that shield is looking like a very small little circle right a now. A red M&M. Red M&M. I'd say Skittle, but uh, you, you do you. Oh, first stock taken with Anvil. Why did you touch block? That is what you should not do. 110, 121, all right, 129, I cannot speak. Oh, there you go, you jinxed it. And now it's zero. Now it's even, two stocks, ooh, strings, strings? We got block strings, 43%. 43% right there. Yes, Peach is trying to find a way to get uh, through these blocks. Ah, oh, but Steve misses the punish on getting over. I mean, Steve's conditioning with, uh, with the blocks are, and, there's up smash. Okay, yeah. side note. Up smash, arguably most annoying uh, move smash. in the game. Lasts way too long, too too strong, and it's just annoying. Please nerf. Uh, Bell, Pac-Man Bell. Pa okay, Pac-Man Bell, uh, at least you have to charge it up. See, up smash, no, all you have to do is click. I have, I, like, I'm a Pac-Man main myself, and I only, like, I only need, like, three seconds, and it's charged. <laughs> yeah, you only need, like, boom. What's the frame data on It's Steve's frame eight. Yeah. For the for the scoop up hit. All you need is eight frames for Steve's up smash to come out instead of three seconds. Yeah, but mine Bell is transportable. So is Steve's. He, he has it everywhere. <laughs> no, but like you could hold it as an item and it then it comes out of frame eight because now you throw it. Is it still faster than Steve's up it's smash? Still, I guess it's, not. It's and faster. another stock oh. has been taken. Good edge guard by Navi. Catching the glider. Peach has some actually really good edge guards because of flow. They could like l like flow uh, next to ledge to do like nair. How to make the most broken character in the game? Give Steve float. To give Steve float? <laughs> eh. I know Mighty. I know Mighty Man would love that. I think you know what I would think that would make Steve like. Oh, really an good. amazing combo with. I think 51%. What would make Steve like incredibly broken is just very mobile. If Steve was just like as mobile as like Joker. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there you, you go. You just created a monster. I did, exactly. How, how no modders are in this chat? Mm, no, that's probably true. That, that probably happened. That probably happened already. You can't stop it. Dude, imagine if Peach pulls out a bomb. Like in a course. I've seen that happen in Bracket when uh, Navi was playing multiple times, actually. He pulled a bomb against me in Bracket once. So. And he pulled a Mr. Saturn against another guy, and I think he pulled a bomb against another guy. And it was all on stream too, so like maybe it's stream luck or something. I wasn't watching. But yeah, it's probably it's basically last knock, last hit for these fellas. Oh yep. Ooh. Oh, also, Steve's back air would have hit and probably would have killed him. Yeah, if he was a bit, if we moved to the bit more to the left, he would have at least traded. But you know, game one goes but, um, to Navi. Amazing first game from these two gentlemen. Yes, absolutely. Very interesting matchup too. I got my, uh, my my water bottle. Also, my hair is, uh, it looks like a flat 2D texture on my head. Nah, you you're just dude. This is 3D. This is all 3D. This is, this is, it just, that's, this face is fake. It's, it's just a piece of paper, guys. Don't get it, don't get it, uh, confused now. This is a piece of paper. That's a piece of paper, guys. Yeah, I knew you can get That's a piece of paper. <laughs> well, it's a construction paper, I It's construction paper. But anyway, game two. Navi with game one. And on PS2, here we go. Steve is starting to get some materials. Peach is trying to find a way to approach. Minecart on deck. 
Steve hits up air and gets a solid 35%. My card is his, uh, my card, it's its own character. Like, that's, that it's, I, I, that's actually pretty good. I should start it's, saying it's like, that. It's like hi if Hydrant can move. Mm, true. <laughs> oh. oh, is that, is that yeah, an early game? Yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh, he, that was a really nice game. He could have uh, elytra sideways, but he probably would have gotten hit again, so... It's ra I mean, it is rare to, uh, to see Steve get gimmed, but it does happen. Yeah, because Peach's edge guarding is better than you think, so... Yeah, I've seen that people uh, underestimate Peach's um, edge guard tool. Edge guard yeah, tool. one of the reasons why Peach is top tier. Turn it, float canceling all her aerials. Like... I want to say all her arrows, like well, a lot of them. Yeah, her arrows can definitely be heavily utilized. Nice back air. Yeah, Navi is definitely taking advantage of these floats because Steve is relying on Peach to land right now. Oh, oh my God, what an anvil! That was a really good anvil. Using the two man. blocks to bounce off into the anvil and the kill come from. That oh, was very oh nice. no! Oh, the Steve didn't fastball, so he couldn't get that jab in. But he's at 50 anyway. Yeah, 60. I, I, I hate it when my character doesn't like fastball. Like he wanted to fastball. Oh yeah, that's just like that sucks. It's timing. It's all about timing. Ooh, good shield from No Mammon. He didn't go for something like he didn't go aggressively after anvil. Oh, diamonds on deck. He has another diamond. Diamond Back kills here? early, Lay. Yeah. Hmm. Both of these characters are fishing for their kill now. There you go, yep, Anvil will take it again. The and classic Anvil. Doesn't get any better than oh, that. Oh, no Mammon just used this diamond to repair his tools. He has to mine for he has to mine for a bit in order to guarantee the last stock diamond. You used diamond. Oh, 66%. Try to go for the up smash, but... I, I, uh, the block, uh, cock block them. Oh, ha, oh, ha, ha cock block. <laughs> get it, get it. Ah, we're, fun, we're funny here. <laughs> Only top tier commentating over here. What the heck was that? Did he gain for cent for that? Or just... Nope. No knockback, though. That was so weird. I hit the head, though. All right. Like, you know what that reminds me of? No. Missed, oh. missed, Fal uh, missed Raptor Boost of Falcon. Ooh. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Like it does the animation, but not. Oh, there you go. That's another diamond. Do you think No Mama is going to use his diamond right now? I mean, yeah. if he ever gets he, near He doesn't that, have his pickaxe, so he doesn't have a lot to do. If he ever gets near that uh, crafting table, then he could probably get diamond, but. Yeah, he's, 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 using, he's using minecart, and he's probably going to use anvil and sword. Navi's conditioning him to keep, like, keep the hell away from that. Yeah, he can't get any iron because he has no pickaxe. He doesn't have a tool to mine with. He's going to have to at least lose his last stock because he, I don't think he wants to use diamond right now because he just got diamond not too long ago. I thought he was about to suicide. It was a, it was a good play in order to get that diamond. Yeah, he's just. I think he's just doing chip damage right now, hoping for a kill, a potential one. Oh, greedy yeah. side beat from Peach. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to take him, got the jump. That's game two, or yeah, game two to no Mammon. That that one. is very smart from uh, yeah. Mammon. From instead of uh, going for diamond, he yeah stayed back and yeah. uh, pressured Peach into making a mistake. And yeah, because boom. you want to save that diamond for last stock. Exactly. But yeah, very smart plays from no Mammon compared to game one. Very props, props. But it's top eight already, right? Is it top eight? Winner semis, yeah, it's top eight. So this is best of five, so first to three. As we wait for the uh, the match to start after choosing the stage, I want to show you guys something I can do. Look at my eyes. Oh my god, that's insane, that's awesome. I love, I love, I can, I can do the, I can do the rock. He can do the thing, he can do the thing, guys. Oh my god. Please, someone, <laughs> someone, please stop this man before he invades the internet. <laughs> All human life will be destroyed. What faces can you do? I could do, like, I could do thumbnail faces, aka pogging. <laughs> pogging, like, sadness, Three, anger. Two. Also the rock, and we're going for uh, route to oh, Dude, bro, Mr. first Sa Mr. Saturn, Saturn and wasted. Goodbye, Mr. Saturn. Goodbye. It was fun while it lasted. Anyway, game three, Kalos. 
Rest in peace. That was a very interesting event. Oh, Peach accidentally, or not Peach, Steve accidentally caught the tournament. Turn it. Turn it. Tournament. Tournament. I accidentally caught the tournament. That's crazy. The tournament's now in the grasp of my hand. The tournament is now in the grasp of my hand. I think Peach is catching on to the Steve's habits right now, or at least his movement patterns. Ooh, never yeah, mind. Yeah, but it even. doesn't matter. <laughs> never mind. Zero, it's even. zero to 50 from three moves. That's how great uh, Steve is. Okay, now it's even, even because of Smash. That's four moves versus how many moves does Peach do? Like 20? Well, I mean, Peach has really good strings with full canceling, but. I agree, but Steve has Minecart, <laughs> he has Anvil, he has. Diamond. <laughs> okay. Ow, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, yeah, Pete, Steve does have better strings than Peach. I do have to agree. Uh, I, I love I love funny mic. I love the I love it when I scream into the mic and damage everybody's eardrums. That's my favorite. Ooh. Ooh, uh, taking off the block, block and the, oh wait, this microphone's too close to my mouth. No, it's fine. There we go. Both of these players are at last, or at, are, at a, are looking for the kill right now. Oh, yeah, Peach is going to go through the minecart and take the first dog. Let's see how No Mama, oh, No Mama gets a diamond. It's probably going to last. There you go. Minecart's going to take it because Peach decided to nair. On a block specifically. I mean, the block. nair, the oh, nair would have... Oh, 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 my God. He almost no. died. That was almost a death. Oh, my God. That was almost a death. Let me move this microphone away from my mouth a bit. I feel like it's too close. <laughs> Yeah, but that was a good string by No Mammon. Look at that, already at 100%. Actually, it's 99%. Shut up! <laughs> I'm kidding. Ooh, barely avoiding the anvil. Steve is definitely uh, managing his space really well here with placing blocks. Wait, I would say him. mining blocks is similar to how uh, Cloud charges the limit or how Robin charges... Uh, Pac-Man charges fruit. Or Pac-Man charging, charging fruit. Oh, yeah. Fourth throw? Not gonna do it. Let's One. see what uh, Steve does to edge guard. One. Oh, he tries to down tilt. Oh, down. Oh, down what was works. that DI? Down tilt kills everyone. To be fair, he was at like 160. 39. Oh, 60. 60. <laughs> 60, ladies and gentlemen. I love from the stream. I love blue tools, guys. Blue tools are the best. Ah, yes. My tool changed color. That means I'm <laughs> my, my tool changed color. Therefore, it does more damage and it, you die way earlier. I have I have the talking blue stick. <laughs> I have the talking stick. <laughs> Imagine if Steve uh, had... Was that it? Really? No. Nope, that DI yeah, is no, nothing I was like, like H1s. Yeah. yeah, I was like, no, that's no way that kills. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Iron, he's blocks. placing down iron blocks. <laughs> oh, I, I'm surprised no mammon didn't punish that side B. I mean, he was stuck between the blocks there, so he didn't have time to react. Pairing the back air, but it doesn't matter because Steve frame data exists. And also blue tool. Yep. And my card. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Ooh. Oh, he got the neutral get up. Oh my god. Did he just stand still slowly and charge forward? Smash that. No, leg? he knew he was gonna neutral get up. That's the only reason. Or he was just a lucky guess. I'm like, I'm gonna flip this coin real quick. Hey, I win. <laughs> Hold up, let's let's flip this card. I don't think that's the, that tails. <laughs> oh, we got tails. tails. I, we didn't even say what. Okay. All right. I this got. I got. I got. I got. Uh, I call uh, heads. I call heads right now. Tails. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. I got tails. those twice. <laughs> I am. I'm. You I'm suck. wasting. I'm wasting all my luck in bracket right now. I'm. I'm using all of my luck for bracket. <laughs> All right, lost bracket. All right. And on to round three. Game four on PS2 again. Wait, this is game four. Oh my god, I cannot think. Peach is starting to hit those strings now. Oh, oh, jab, jab, jab. Oh, 20, 27. 30, about 30%. Actually, 20. Shut up! <laughs> Oh, he tries to catch it with the up smash, but the tech... Oh, the air dodge. And forward air almost killing it at 85. P like, oh, yeah. Just forward air. Oh, okay. good recovery. Smart recovery from No Mom and not recovering at ledge. Yeah, forward air catching it. Not dead yet. Let's see how Steve gets back to center stage. Nami looking for a kill here at ledge. 
Why do we hear Puff in the background? Uh, probably because a loud monitor in the background. But anyway, yeah, this Steve is definitely. Oh, if it wasn't throw? for that flow, then oh, uh, he maxed out. Back throw? Oh, forward throw. That was a nice uh, get up roll. Or no, that was uh -oh. a tech. Forward tech. Steve is off stage. Let's see. I think Peach will get this edge guard. Oh no! One tries, tries to ledge trap instead, but doesn't get it. Peach is looking for something to kill with because since Peach. At this percentage, uh, she can't do any combos, but Steve nice. has 150 oh, that thing, So yeah. all you can do is uh, kill moves or chip damage. Like there that, you. there's a kill move. And now onto the combos. Yeah. Unless if Steve proceeds to spam side B. Oh, pairing back here. Strings incoming. Oh, oh. Ooh, using the turnip to stop the stop the minecart. That's really smart of Navi, but it didn't pay off as Navi took stock. Before. Yeah, smart forward smash from No Mammon. Up there. Ooh. 57%. Literally made Navi's work just obsolete. Both of these characters are trying to get something in. That ledge. Oh. oh. Steve almost getting a string there. Oh, but Peach catches it with Ivy. Steve trying to recover. Oh, trying to catch the neutral getup again, but instead uh, Peach is rolling. Putting Steve back off stage. Oh. Downer not connecting, but down it. Oh, what? Oh, oh that's on. unfortunate. I, I, yeah, I hate it when that happens whenever you. Oh, okay. And that's another stock taken. Peach catching the Elytra. With four there, but going back to Peach's of me, how why did that not connect? I like, I am not versed in Smash code or whatever. Can someone explain what the hell happened. Uh, Smash Ultimate multi hits, especially like as as a raw main. For some reason, people always get out of my uh, up air and side B. Like, what what character do you play? Rob. Rob. Oh yeah, SDI baby. You can't SDI out of that. Yes, you can SDI out of anything. <laughs> you can't SDI out of Rob side B. Yes, you can. No, you can't. People done it. Have, have people fell out of Rob side B? Yes. Here, my point. My point has been proven. <laughs> I hate being wrong. All right. But Peach has the percent lead here. Let's see if Steve can put up a good string. Jinxing? Jinxing? Uh. 40% already with like three hits. Blue tools, everyone. Blue tools. Blue tools. I love my. I love the color blue. I love my blueberry flavored pickaxe. <laughs> the one piece. The one piece is real. I love Can that. we get much higher? <laughs> Can we get five likes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. If, Ma if Yo, uh, Mama no was, uh, is making this even right now. Through the blocks. Wow. Four, and we're on four through the blocks. Oh my god. This now is game five, everybody. Cinco. Cinco. Jugando numero cinco. Juego, es juego numero cinco. I speak Spanish, my, my guy. Bad. Juego numero cinco. Juego. Yes. Juego. Okay. Don't confuse fuego and fuego. I said I said fuego. Fue fuego is fire. I know. Fue I said fuego. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. Fuego. Yes. Speaking of fuego, I would like fuego. to. Uh, okay. Fuego. Shut up. <laughs> Get out. The door's wide right open. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, he's actually gone. <laughs> Don't, that's, that's just, that's All right. Game five. <laughs> On PS2 again. We love PS2 here. <laughs> PS2 is number one. Steve Mining, awesome! I love Steve Mining. <laughs> I love it when oh that happens. Oh my happened. god, such high gameplay. What <laughs> such high gameplay? Oh, oh, oh. 30%, 30% off of two hits. That's awesome. Fair balance. Fair balance. <laughs> Imagine Steve with random crits. No. <laughs> Ooh, tries to Too extend much of horror. Steve looking for an opening here to use that. Yeah, Steve uh, for looking for an opening or for Peach to overextend here. Oh, Spike. Ooh. Oh, try, I think he. I think he was trying to. Yeah, fast trying fall. to like fast fast fall jab, but instead got down air. That happens. Oh, good grab, catching the roll. 
What is he going to do? Ooh. Ooh. That was a good DI from Navi. Nah, because Navi, the thing is, like... If Navi DI'd in, then that would have been a, like, a true spike. Yeah, but I don't think Navi would have gotten spiked because Minecart... Because Speaking of DI, Navi with that amazing oh. DI, nothing like H-Box. Oh, I think he meant to, I think, pivot dash attack or something like that. Oh, catching oh. it. Here we go. We're out of here. That's... Putting no mammon in a good lead. Oh yeah, forward air going through minecart as it should. Oh that oh, back airs. I hate my, I hate minecart. That would have been a kill too. Super armor moment. Oh yeah, back air is gonna take that. Wait, my, not dead? Hello. Minecart has super armor. Yeah. You didn't know that? I retired. I hate <laughs> retired. Is that why you lost? <laughs> is that? Or is that why you're losing to Steve? Oh, Diamond's again. He's repairing himself. Yes. I, Steve has no business having super armor. On yeah, Steve is definitely already has, broken the, move. has the advantage right now. Yep, already 72 advantage. with the cotton candy blue. Cotton candy pickaxe. My lightsaber pickaxe. It ain't no dark side. <laughs> it ain't no dark side. Imagine if they added netherite. I... I... If they added netherite, and seeing how broken diamond is, that you you would just make brawl meta knight. That's so true. <laughs> Two hits and you're already at like 60. Ah, oh, the block, the cock block. The cock That's block. so true. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Back air incoming. Some some piece of my soul wants some level of disrespect in this game. Oh, there will be. Disrespect as in camping. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be. No, it means like disrespect as since Steve, you can just build a build L. an L. Build <laughs> oh wait, I want that so bad. Build an L or build talk. an L, please. Oh, combos? You can't hear us, uh, but please build an L. Please build it, please. Okay, get up attack. But he's taking no expenses here with building an L. Yo, he is giving. mining Peach right now. He, he is handing he is that. farming Peach, guys. Get it? <laughs> but he he's giving Peach that fat L. Yo, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, <laughs> the parry. Oh, no tech. Therefore, no skill. <laughs> no skill. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, my, my, that's my go. That's where you go. The better job. He did it. The, the carry player did it. We love Steve. We love Steve. Minecraft number one. Game Minecraft number one. I agree. Steve Minecraft does. is the number one game in the world. All right. Why didn't you build an L? You didn't build an L. What are you doing? You build an L, L bro. You're too scared to build an L. You had a L. lead. You had a stock lead. All right. Sure. All right, I am left by myself, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure if we're gonna go on break. It may seem like it, and we are going on break. I'm August. Did they call my name? Did they call my name? 
Apparently I'm part of Res Bracket, and now we have uh, Sidebins and Glassman about to go on a mic. Enjoy. One second. <laughs> uh, plasmid, P L A S M I D. They give me the baby stool type of seat. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Oh, I stick my mask off. Oh, yeah, too. Alright. Alright, everybody. We have Shiro Yasha and Gamer Ace playing Winners Semis. It is 0 0. We just started the set, and I am here joined by my co caster, Mr. Sidebands himself. How you doing, dude? Hey, everyone. Oh, okay. Hey, everyone, it's Sidebands here. Um, they couldn't find anyone else, so I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's wonderful being here, man. Yeah. So, if I'm not mistaken, I have been seeing Shiryasha being doing a pretty good job so far with dealing everybody in his path. And both of these players just very, very neck and neck in this match right now. Especially for being a Prana Plant player, it's that character is not very easy compared to most others. Yeah, if uh, I recall correctly, he was at Mayfair's um, tournament over the weekend, I think, last couple of days. That was amazing, by the way. Did you see that? That's actually a really, really cool combo, because we also have a Pac-Man player uh, here at Mayfair. But I have yet to see the two play against each other. So. Oh, he did not just dare dodge like that. Honestly, if uh, in Game Race's case, he could have gone two ways. One, the way he actually did with the bell, and two, uh, with the, what's the green fruit? <laughs> um, Melon. Yeah, Melon. Um, if he went with Melon, it kills at high percent, but just it's neat little quirk. So if you just throw it at someone, they die instantly. I learned that one the hard way. Oh, did you learn that from uh, Marker? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's hit me a couple of times with uh, back throw into Melon. Yeah, it is completely insane that no one ever thought about that. It's not very common knowledge. Yeah. And oh. A lot of these, like, big uh, like hits coming from Shariyasha are actually coming from like trades of like Patui. That should be an up throw and should be a kill right here. Yeah. Yep. And Game Race goes down and giving uh, Shariyasha uh, the first win. You can see Mario. It is, it's a now, speaking of Mario, that movie. what are your thoughts on the trailer? Because I have to say, Jack Black does an incredible job as Bowser. But I'm still a little bit skeptical about Chris Pratt. After taking a bunch of classes about, uh, like, you know, movies and stuff like that, you really have to wonder how in the world did they think Chris Pratt was a good idea? Because <laughs> literally every other casting was perfect. Jack Black, great. Charlie Day, great. Uh... It was the Key and Peel guy, yeah, right? Key, Yeah, Key and Peel for I think they Toad. nailed it for Toad. I think they did. I saw they pitched up his voice for that, and I think it's the perfect... It, it's, it's enough to be noticeable, but not enough to be annoying. Yeah, I think they did a good job balancing, uh, like, the pitch as well as, like, the realism. I think they found a good balance on it. Because it's not so, like, game, but also just realistic. So, yeah, yeah. again, good balance. I was scared to see it was going to be like a live action mixed with animation, but glad it's pure animation. Yeah, so. it looks <laughs> honestly very beautiful. But yeah, jumping back into this match, we're having an early lead coming from Game Race. Lots of fun. Look uh, at him throwing really fruits. fruits. So far, there's been a lot of really good neutral interactions, which Game Race has been winning. But there's a bit of a clapback from Shiryasha. Shiryasha really does excel in uh, conditioning his opponents to, uh, to do one specific thing and then he like punishes it because he sets up so many, uh, he has a bunch of projectiles, he has Fatui, he has uh, the poison gas, which basically says you're going to do this one often or you're going to die. So 
that was a really good way for her to stall. Shiryasha's, what I've noticed his playstyle is, is heavily impacted by Patui and uh, the Smoke Cloud. It's heavily utilized for this character. He's very adaptive towards uh, if they like hit or what uh, if they dodge it. So, oh man, that back air. Not even that, it's just that Shiryasha is really good at keeping his opponent in the corners of the stage and just pressuring them from there. That super okay, the use The use of down B <laughs> is surprisingly good, I have to say. Oh, and that was such a lucky hit from the up B. Yeah. Stuffing out up air from Pac-Man. Uh, let's see if Game Ace is going to punish this accordingly. He really just has to hit him once with it and then... Yep. Mm -hmm. I did not see him get key. I thought he went for Bell and was going to set up uh, Bell to, uh, or to so, or a forest match, but guess not. Early damage coming out from the uh, game race, though. But in fight back to even. That was a good... Nice down game. smash right there. Yeah, good coverage on that platform, for sure. What I do like from Shiryasha, what he's doing is that he's not committing a 100% to uh, the down B. He's kind of just covering a lot, lots of angles and letting the storm cloud do the work in the corner. That should almost be a kill. Ooh, close, but unfortunately for Shiryasha, Gamer is just de-iced that incredibly well and misses the bell there. Forcing uh, Pac-Man to cover low is actually probably the best option. Yeah, up throw. There he goes. I think the three biggest kill moves that I'm seeing from Piranha Plant is back air, up throw, and oh my god, that's smash. That didn't kill. Man, Pac Man, Pac Man, up guys are really. Oh my god. Dude, F tilt. That was kind of hot, man. That was kind of hot. Bro, within the Kovacs for that one. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was like, okay, if I throw him exactly right here. Oh, what people. is going on over there? All I hear is Mighty Man screaming, and I already know that something really not good happened to him. I'm pretty sure it's Destroyer over there, because they just switched off with us. Oh, man. They, some BS probably happened. And I, that definitely Mighty, Mighty Man, Man scream. Mighty Man definitely SC'd, and that was complete. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Love you, Mighty Man. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. This is looking pretty close oh, for oh. Mighty Man. Oh, mind about no. He can... Game Ace really can. <laughs> that almost didn't kill, though. That almost did not. Kill. Almost, but wow. Gamer, that just goes to show that Game Ace is not out of this race yet. He still has a couple tricks up his sleeve. So I wonder how they're gonna, uh, how Shiryasha is gonna adapt to that, because I feel like he went in a lot more confidently in uh, game two. So it's a uh, best of five, correct? Yes, I would assume so. I yeah. mean, I'm fairly certain it's best of five. All right. But. Yeah, I'm desperately excited to see what changes both of these players are going to make in their post time in order to combat each other's shenanigans. Winner's semi-final. Yeah. I am assuming this is best of five. If it's not, then... <laughs> we apologize, chat. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I, I would never apologize. I'm just going to say... You should have known. <laughs> that's on you. Well, but that, that's the same thing oh, for us. Man. We should have known. Look at that shield damage, dude. Did you see that? If it broke up. Oh. Dude, the coverage from all like three of the special moves is insane because he's using all of them in unique ways. Ooh. This is great. Very this well offstage well. play from Shiryasha is so entertaining. And again, using Patui in order to trade is such a good option. That man, was such a good trade. Good read, honestly. Yes, sir. He definitely... I feel like he knows the stage more than he knows the character. Because, like, that's not to be, like, mean. I mean that as, like, he definitely, like, can calculate where it should be. Like, he knows how to aim it. He knows, like, when is a good time to uh, send it, when, it's a, when to just wait. He's definitely patient enough. So, honestly, oh. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for a raw back there. That would have been a perfect time in order to use it. Uh, he probably didn't have enough time. Yeah, but I've seen a couple other ones, and then it's actually not too terrible in order to do it because back is pretty quick. That's not gonna kill from center stage though. Bell set up again. That almost killed. He really conditioned him with the bell, saying like, "If you want it, come and get it." And then he went and got it. This is looking pretty good because this is max rage, and he's got a lot of extra credit on game race right now. And all he really needs is like a throw from either character. Apple not gonna take it. Oh, that oh, should be a kill it up though again. 
Yes, sir. Max Rage. And Game Rage trying to shake it off and go back into get back into this man. Boring. Ooh, see, he's bringing it back, bringing it back. Favorite thing is to see. Uh, Jerry looks very calm about uh, the situation. He's got a nice two stock lead. Above that, being at a very low percent, and really, it's up to Game Race to see uh, how he's gonna adapt to that and if he can like pull it off. Because he's definitely done some uh, pretty wacky plays, and it's paid off. The big difference, though, is that I feel like with Pac-Man, you're trying to keep your opponents uh, like on the stage in order you have the, in order for you to have the room for all these crazy setups. But I think. With Shiro Yasha always keeping Pac-Man in the corner, it's really difficult for Game Race to try to get back on stage and have enough room in order to pull the off the setup. Yeah, and I agree uh, 100%. Shiro Yasha taking game three for him, and... Yeah. I have to say, that was a very convincing win. Because even though they were scrapping back and forth, Shiro Yasha was just putting him in the corner way more. And that first stop, was so good for Shiryashi. He, yeah. he survived for so long, got an early kill with up throw, and then afterwards picked it right back up. So this is looking a little bit rough for, for game race for sure. And immediate grab into low damage combos. Yeah, quick 20 just to start things off. Honestly, if I was game race, I would be quite tilted right now because a lot of his, uh, he's getting punished for a lot of things and he's just simply trying to get uh, an opening. Because when he does, he does well, but... Oh, no! Oh my god, that was the trampoline. That was some cheese. I think Shiryasha that was, nodding though, he's like, yeah. yeah I think that was the first time I saw it move this entire set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did not see very many trampolines. And in fact, coming to play, which is straight up at all. Yeah, but... Great lead for a gamer, I seeing if he can possibly bring this to a game four, game five, game five. One so, thing that I love from Shiryasha is that he's catching a lot of game races jumps with down B. And it's really interesting, an extension on the high drift. <laughs> oh man, not intended, I'm sure. Oh. Low damage okay. combos, but the thing is, this can easily be taken back with that easy 20%. That was just strong cloud didn't even hit him actually. <laughs> oh, trying to get a setup with stuffing out that approach with the dash attack. This is what I'm talking Look about. Look at that. Did you see that dash dance? This ledge trapping from Shiryasha is incredible. I feel like at this point, Game Race needed that SD in order to have a chance. Because this is just going straight back to even so easily for Shoyasha. That was yeah. a good tech chase for Orange, though. And jumping over Hydra and trying to get out of disadvantage easily. Oh, That was an interesting trick. Caught him there. It's honestly way better that he got hit with Apple instead of Hydra, because Hydra would have killed there for sure. This is still very, very doable for Shiryasha. No pickup on that. Oh, did he get hit by that? No, it barely grazed him, so. Not looking terrible for Shiryasha, though. I have to say, he, this he, is definitely doable. <laughs> Shiryasha's like, all right, fine. Putting the weights on. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of low damage, especially with Galaga, perfect for it. Throwing some cherries at him. Uh, that was a little bit of a Randy S smash, and Game Race is starting to oh, make it even. Lost that advantage. Uh, honestly, even at disadvantage, I think it's even better for uh, uh, Shiryasha because he could just do uh, down B or just do up B and not really get punished. Whereas Gamer Ace, like, he kind of struggles because there's not much off stage he can do when compared. Because as you said earlier, he needs him to be on stage. So if he can, so Shiryasha can be off stage. Fine with them. One thing that I am noticing is that, uh, obviously, because you're at high percent, you really want to get a kill move. But I'm seeing that Shiryasha is being very, very risky. He's throwing out a lot of unsafe moves. Because I did see just two random, uh, like, smash attacks within the last, like, couple of minutes. So, Him up there, I'm not going to kill. There. Still doable. 170 is definitely not <laughs> the ideal place. But honestly, if he was with 170, that's I'm, earned. I'm going <laughs> to... 
I would be amazed if he won right now, but I do believe charging up key is going to be an emergency kill option for, uh, oh my god, the game race right now. Still doable. All game race really needs right now is a back throw, but he's going to need to position himself correctly. Bro to just needs to sneeze on him already. Oh my goodness. At this point, F tilt in the corner is going to kill. I think it's really funny how uh, when Game Race just sit there, I was just looking at Pac-Man just like smiling. Oh my the... god. Oh, and he barely does oh, not Oh my reach. god. Again, again. Dude, the forward tilt is going to kill. Oh, and that was there such it a is. bad option. Oh my god. Honestly, up to Shiri Asha for just surviving that lock. Yeah, that I've was... been very impressed that he survived to 190. Yeah, but Shiri Asha just taking it. And I'm all I have to say is that if... Game Race did not cheese him with the trampoline in the beginning. This would have turned out way differently. Yeah. But we're going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's up to the tiebreaker. Let's see him pull off. No. I don't know. Maybe. Did he switch? I, 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 thought he, I thought he switched. I was like, is Game Race going to play a, someone else? Oh, but no. Back to the good old Pac Man. Goes for a grab immediately. Real interesting. <laughs> that was a very ambitious low percent grab attempt. <laughs> Bro, uh, bro took Katana like you want to take before the match. What the heck? I didn't hit the Hydrant? I guess not. These combos with Pachui are so satisfying to watch. Shiryasha knows exactly uh, how to work with it. He's been, I'm sure he's been playing with uh, Piranha Plant for a very long time. And it definitely shows as uh, whenever he hits Batui, he like immediately jumps and gets a, 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 an aerial or um, waits for the opponent to DI somewhere so he can punish that as well. Definitely a lot more patient. Ooh. Where's Capital Lens? I know from that tech chase. He's trying to read a roll in. I'm very impressed that Game Race has managed to take this back quite a bit because this was looking very, very dire for the, uh, Game Race's first stock from just that incredible opening from uh, Shuri Yasha. But so far, it's very, very even. It turned from up, yep, the good old bread and butter. It honestly started off from like very a one-sided match to a uh, dead even, really. Both players um, have uh, had their faults, but also have their. Uh, did not hit the tech there. Honestly, would not have been me. <laughs> not to say that I was you, but if I was. Oh, no, he actually used the Galaga immediately. I would have held on to that personally, but... It's probably to catch up the jump would have been good. He also probably just needed to use the area. It's like, get this out of here. I don't want it. Now, that would have been good every, uh, area coverage above that platform with Galaga, but I think he did not know how to like use it properly. That's the first time he's caught a fruit this set as well, so... Yeah. The big damage coming from Game Race right now. He's been winning a lot more in his own interactions. But I will say that Game Race uh, is getting grabbed way more often. And Shiryasha has been pretty successful in putting him in the corner. So this is why it's pretty much dead even so far. That was almost a kill with Hydra. Air dodges it. Honestly, really good I thought that was going to hit, but... That's a pretty uh, bold move from Shiryasha to just air dodge that uh, the bell, so... Trying to cover that get up option. Yeah. I remember when this was like really in Shiryasha's favor. Yeah, I. Oh my god, this was such like I don't, I don't even want to say it just because it sounds like a little bit rude. But this was looking so easy for Shiryasha up until that uh, trampoline kill from Game Race. Yeah, I at think zero. Yeah, and I can definitely tell. Um, it's having an effect on Shiryasha as he's uh, swaying instead yeah. of uh, dead still. I think it did kill a little bit of Shiryasha's momentum because right now he is getting cooked off stage. And yeah. Be, that was no back air, really? Shiryasha's really got to... Now it's got to be... It's the reverse now from last game. Shiryasha at 119. Now he's got to bring this entire uh, game... Or this entire step back simply with one stock at 132. So, and these high percent like games are just so fun to watch, but they're so panic inducing. Oh, oh and you missed it. 
I'm surprised there was not even a bigger punish from uh, Gamer Ace. This is still doable, though. I think Gamer Ace is really feeling the pressure right now. He, they're both at last dog. All he, he knows that he needs one last hit. And, you know, Sherry Asha, oh, is it going to be no, enough? No, it's not. No, nope, not enough. Plan is surprisingly heavy. Oh, my God. Oh, and the dare drop. Oh, no way. This is kill percent. This is kill percent for, for Brown of Plant. Honestly, both players are really in a... Uh, Rock in a hard place right now. Yeah. No, Game Race is definitely a little bit nervous because I saw him use that key immediately. He's trying to get back a different uh, fruit in order to utilize against Hirayasha. Oh, an ambitious bell. We're not going to take it. Off stage down B. Attempted to get the read, but Shiryasha, Shiryasha is really lasting so long. Oh. So, yeah. And right with the boot. Just out of here. <laughs> no, I'm sure Shiryasha definitely is not too happy about that all right that was a fun uh that was a fun set Swap. very interesting okay uh i'll be swapping now it was really fun see, uh with you guys and i'll see you all later yep why hello hello my brother how are you? I'm so short because this chair is very short. Why is nice. it short? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Bro's got the the Sigma male superior. My, my son here. No. There we go. That's better. So I'm like it though. Yeah. Okay. All right, better better. No. Okay. So. Oh yeah, you were complaining that as well, Simon. For me, for me. Okay. One thing I realized is that my seated height is actually very small. Oh wait, are you, aren't you in res bracket, dude? Hold on, tell them to DQ me. I said I told them to DQ me. <laughs> oh my lord. I told them to DQ me. It's okay. I told them to DQ me in advance, and he's like, "Don't worry, I got you." He calls me anyways. But anyway, um, I was watching that last match of Sherry Asha and the Pac-Man. That was, was kind of hype. Yeah, it was hype, but I, I will, I just have to say that Shiryasha would have won had he not been given by that trampoline in See, game okay, three. Okay, so, yeah, so wait, was it... Or game four. Was it red trampoline? Was I don't it, even know how... Break? I didn't see what it was, but he immediately got hit by red trampoline. I don't even know if... Did he, like, nared it, and it immediately put it in red? Or oh. that um, it was already, like, used? But I'm pretty sure it wasn't used because it was right underneath the ledge. So I'm pretty sure that when Shiryasha tried to nair off stage, it killed... Uh, the blue and the yellow from trampoline uh, and it made it immediately red. Well, that's enough about the past Let's talk about the present. We are winners finals right now. We got no Mammon and Gamer Race uh, Gamer Race playing the Pac-Man. You guys saw him last game and uh, no Mammon. I've been seeing we also no Mammon been playing uh, Steve, been playing Steve but yeah. I think for matchup purposes because Pac-Man being the zoner and Steve can't really camp yeah. He's gonna go Paulo with fast buttons like uh, Pac-Man. I would agree with the switch to Pac-Man being a little bit more defensive and not so aggressive. But so far, Game Race has been handling it pretty well. Yeah, Palu having all the uh, iframes on the back here and the dash attack with a lot of priority. Also, uh, she has really good uh, frame data and also her spacing can also be used very well. So we'll see how this turns out. Also, Game Race, uh, I see he's using the wind boxes of the, the Hydrant a lot. Oh yeah, the water is being uh, utilized quite a bit. I will say though, I've noticed from Game Race is that he does not kill until high percent. He mostly uses F tilt in the corner in order to get a kill at like 170, 180. Because if you saw in the last match, he didn't like score a kill on Shiryasha until like 200. In one well, game. we all know Plant's heavy. Uh, well, like, Plant's heavy, but it's, he's just landing well, also, on kill. I, I think Game Race is trying to like not be too committal. You That's know? true, but I will say that it. Sometimes it can be a double-edged sword. It can be a double-edged sword. Yeah. Sometimes playing safe can be good. But yeah, like especially like if your opponent overcommits and like you can get, he's basically getting less than what he should be is what you're saying, right? Yeah. And look, this is also like another issue with like killing your opponent very late is that 
rage comes into play, not only that, it's just, you're just waiting to give your opponent more opportunities in order to get an early kill off of you. Right, also like, um, unless he's trying to use it mentally and be like, all right, you're at high percent, red color is supposed to make their mental weird, you know? I feel like the thing is though, is that he used it so much as to back us, not gonna kill from center stage. Honestly, I would have gone for forward throw on the, for positioning. Oh, okay, good F tilt, but that's not gonna do it yet. He's charging up, he's got the key ready. Oh, but the SD from no Mammon, he did not reach that ledge. At that point though he got enough extra credit yeah so i feel like you can't be too complainative about uh 200 percent <laughs> yeah oh, oh, another man. one oh no i think it was the water there's no way it's water if you okay i think there's it was no the water. way it was water i think it was the water because man this is looking like unova castle right now i know that's what they that was why they banned the stage is because of the three characters that have the teleport abilities oh, right. on their uppies they just literally like fly off the right side of the stage for some reason. Maybe, maybe that's why uh, Game Race might have. Oh wait, I just realized Game Race this whole time has had an incredible lead by a whole stop. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Well, because not only, uh, well, it's because actually the double SD. So right. the SD. Oh, I'm pretty right, right, sure right. No Mom and just SD at zero, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. I see. We might be seeing. A no Mom. No uh, Mom and got up there uh, 80 first stop. Ooh, with the explosive flame, not another one though. Yeah, the explosive flame definitely a good tool um, on the ledge and off stage as well, and it covers a lot of area. Yeah, most definitely. You just kind of have to read where your opponent goes though. It can kill a very high percent. Right now, just a lot of off stage play and ledge trapping from Game Race. That was very scary. I, got, I clutched up a little bit, kind of cringed a little. Oh, good up air right there to avoid that should be it. the Hydra, but down air is going to do it because multi-hit and that, for some ungodly reason, that move, even though he's just doing a little kicks, it's, it's so Yeah, powerful. it's like, it's kind of like Snake. But Snake, he's buff as hell, so it's like, it makes sense. Well, I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I'm pretty sure Snake's is like frame four. Right. And Pac-Man's like frame six, something like that. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played this game in a long time, but uh, we're trying to get back into it. Don't worry. We have the ultimate frame data right here. I, come on. What's wrong with that? Oh my god. Look at this nerd. Shut up. Oh, my phone's about to die. Oh, getting into game two. Staying on PS2. Welcome to SoCal. This is the one joke that I always make that's always, uh, you know, relatable to all SoCal players. It's funny because it's true, mighty man. Shut up. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he wanted the Galaxian right there. That would have done, done major damage because Galaxian can hit you up to two to three times. That was actually a really good extension with up till on that platform and to get an additional up air. All right, using Hydrant on ledge. Always a good uh, ledge trapping tool. Um, shout out to Marker. He did, uh, he couldn't come today, but um, he kind of uh, Pac-Man definitely being known for using that Hydrant like as conditioning your opponent. Yeah, most uh, definitely. Especially like an example would be like say you were going against uh, let's say Pally. You're forced to either attack it, jump jump over it, or just let Pac-Man charge through. Yeah, and then you can roll through it, but it's a very risky option. Because it has a lot of end lag. Well, not only that, it's just that uh, it's very predictable. Exactly. If that's what you want to do. You should only be rolling a couple of times. Good coverage with down smash. Yeah, it kind of looked like he uh, used the Hydra as a bait in a way. Yeah, definitely a little bit more conditioning. Ooh, be... 30%. I will say he's dropping a lot more combos than I'm expecting to. Uh, it's... Uh, actually, no, I was gonna say it's Polly, but Polly's tall, so it's e it should be easier to hit her. Well, not only uh, that, I'm skinny. also seeing that uh, No Mammon has been committing very hard with these explosive flames from like the right side and trying to hit Game Race while he's like in the middle of the stage, but it's just not working. That's gonna be a big punish. Dude, Game I'll Race. I'll for down smash instead of forward smash. I'm surprised. Game Race is definitely covering all of No Mammon's options. Yeah. Like, especially on ledge. This is like, pro this is the worst spot for <laughs> No Mammon to be in on the ledge. Bell is, uh, he does have Bell with him. Oh, no back here, but who cares? He's got to save it again. Doesn't kill though, no kill spark either. 
I'm surprised he didn't go uh, and set up Melon behind him and try to get a grab. Unless he hit Sour. He might have hit Sour Spot back here. And that didn't kill the back throw? Okay. Uh, he's been using it. Oh, and it barely clips with uh, Dare, but not the final hit. Yeah. Back there covering that jump. Like I said, forces you to jump. But don't worry, this is a 3 out of 5, so no mom and still has a chance to come back. Let's just hope he doesn't get 3 stock. That would be embarrassing. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see a switch from Palu into Steve. Yeah, yeah again, another thing like that that is supposed to play. Steve, Steve might be better because um, none of the projectiles can go through blocks. Not even cheap. That is true, yes. He just bounces off of it. That low so, priority with the fruits. We'll see. Uh-oh. The, the hydrants definitely uh, causing them to get a lot of spaghetti, but good back throw. Palu having one of the strongest back throws in the game. Well, not strongest, but relatively strong. Yeah, no, it's a very reliable kill throw. Yep. <laughs> Unlike Inklings. <laughs> when the complaint, man. She's mid tier, bro. Alright, anyway. Uh, also, the weird thing about Paulu's Nair that a lot of other characters don't have when it comes to, like, those circular Nairs, hers is constant. Like, it's just a circle, and it stays there the whole time. When it comes to other characters, either it's in a circle, and it's just, like, blinking, yeah. or it's in four corners, and it's blinking. Ah, uh, so you're saying something quite like Pit, right? Yeah, like Pit or Simon and Richter. Well, let's just face it. Pit, <laughs> pit Nair is horrendous. That was really, really good save. Yeah, you can fall out of pit and air pretty often. Same thing with Simon and Richter, but Paul is very reliable. I mean, we all know by the nair trains. Yes, sir. Oh, that was such a good two frame. Oh my god. No. I think he I got th scared. I think he, yeah. I think he got scared by freaking, uh, what's it called? He's Water like, oh, pushing shoot. out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, that was good. That was actually good. Game where he's definitely knowing what to do with this. He definitely knows his character front to back, like, d d utilizing the projectiles as much as possible, using the character how it's meant to be, a hybrid of a, um, like, just aggressive character, passive character, and also zoner at the same time. Yeah, definitely a See. trap type character for sure as well. Steve. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna be switching off to Steve. Or in Spanish, it's Steve! Steven. Oh no, oh no. Nah, he's good. If he knows the gl if he knows the glitch with Elytra, he should be fine when it comes to Pac-Man combos. Yes, sir. And also, you're gonna get to, if I'm not mistaken, refresh your jumps with uh, Minecart. No. You do not refresh you it. You don't. You only get one jump, extra jump from Minecart. So it's like Inkling Roller. Ah, uh, so it's not it. quite like Wario, where uh, you get both jumps back. No, I wish that we. That, okay, then that would probably make sense. That would probably be, a, yeah. Like, th this stuff, th that would look a lot like uh, Bugs, <coughs> Bugs Rocket from Multiverses. Uh, Man, can we just, like, stop pretending that the game's fun? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Dude, that, that game's good. Come on. Oh, good up smash right there. They're going through the pop bar. Up, uh, up smash having no scoop, so that's why you don't really see pac mans go for it that much. Yeah. Um, but it's, pro I think, I believe it is the strongest out of all of them, but it doesn't kill because, remember, some high ceilings. So usually when it comes to Pac-Man, F-Smash is usually the most reliable. Yeah, for sure. And also, not to mention, does have a long-lasting hitbox with... Uh, they all do, actually. <laughs> yeah, they do have a long-lasting hitbox, but I'm pretty sure that F-Smash is the one that actually, like, kills Blast reliably. Them. Yeah, and also, like, the long-lasting hitbox can be a double-edged sword, um, because e it makes it, um... Easier to punish you, but also like if they think if they it's safe oh, to like run in afterwards, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. it, it makes it uh, more safe to like punish him, but then also like there's sour spots. So, like if they try to if they let go, if they drop shield, they may get hit by sour spot. No, but no moment showing exactly why Steve is probably the better option in this matchup. Just a lot more. Uh, there's there's fewer. Uh, it's called there's fewer interactions which Steve has to win in order to get these big combos and keep up. Not to mention the even better disadvantage taking Palatina with um, blocks, minecart, and uh, the Elytra. I'm not saying uh, Nomamon use blocks and disadvantage that much. Like when he's off stage, he usually just opts out for minecart, which is very predictable. And he's only using one block, he's not pillaring, which yeah. is actually going to be very bad when it comes to stuff like key because all it takes is for um, the gamer is to do a short hop uh, short hop buffer key and it's going to go above that one block so that was least, a really good catch though at uh, least two blocks will help him i'm pretty sure that he should probably be utilizing blocks a little bit more especially yeah exactly there you go trying to get a little especially bit especially with hydrant hydrant being uh doesn't do damage to any of the oh, blocks that was nasty. it only bounces off the blocks as well and i think despite the fact that you know Hydrin often gets shot in, like, 
an arcing fashion, yeah. it's still going to be providing a lot of protection, at least from like blocks, that is. Right. Oh, 85% on No Mama. No Mama's really got to find an answer right now. Oh! Good using, coverage again. Using those blocks like, <laughs> like if Steve was using a, a anvil, you know? I will say, though, that key, even though key bounces off, it does break a block and full hit, and Pac-Man has the chance for her to run in like you just saw with a yeah. grab. So this that is not looking too terrible. Even though this probably is a better matchup for Steve than Palutena, this is looking pretty reliable. Oh, almost getting hit by the Hydrant. That could have been scary. Oh, no tech, but he still survives. Block always coming in clutch, you know. Dap me up, block. That's what Steve always do. <laughs> Steve, Steve has always got to stay around with the homies. Oh, yeah, the back there. Yeah. Yeah. Untackable kill spark, and there that was, was a clean 3 0 from Gamers for sure. So I do think that if No Mammon switched to Steve or started early. off with Steve earlier, yeah. this would have played out differently. Also, like, maybe. I feel like if he would have gotten Steve first, maybe then switching to Palu later would have been better. Yeah, starting off with Steve, then maybe switching to Palu. Alright, later. Like, if you swap off to. Uh, I'm gonna do an ad break. Alrighty. Alright, I'm down to read the ads. Alright, got it. Okay. Got it. Yep. Alright, well, we are gonna be uh, going, an ad break. going a little to a little ad break. Don't worry, uh, we'll be, you'll still, we'll still be, be here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna open up chat, see if you guys uh, want to ask us anything while well, these ads roll, but we will also be talking about the ads. My phone's at 10%, so we may have to use yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know what? Fair not. enough, fair enough. But, first of all, um, it's us, the Game Crossings. The esports, it starts here. Your ch uh, your child's best experience. It's today's esports scene. Yes, that is correct. Uh, my friend, <laughs> the classmate right here, is wearing the shirt. I'm not, because I forgot to wear mine. L, but don't forget. Man, L. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but don't forget also, Game Lab Smash, hosted by BYS. Yes, oh, always sir. some co uh, cool guys. Also, hosted by One Must Fall. Love those guys as well. I actually recently followed them and they followed me back. So epic homies. Also coming up, Festival of Frights. Festival of Frights. Like it, it's Festival of Fights, but like Frights because joke. Yes, Halloween yes, funny. Sir. It's always it's all about those fighting games, baby. Most m most of them are your traditional fighters like King of Fighters, DBZ, uh, DB. Uh, D I can't do it. DBZ. <laughs> oh, DBZ. Yeah. yeah. And then we also had DNF Duel and uh, other. Yep. Uh, traditional fighters. I want to say all those games absolutely incredible, and of course we had Smash. Hold on, we got a little uh, visit from someone here. What happened? Why are you here? I, I, I was like, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something to the chat. Uh, hi, chat. Okay, we got a hello chat we from Gamer Race. From Gamer Race. Yes, sir. There should be. <laughs> Oh my god, that is such a <laughs> cursed photo of Steve. You know I put that on my Twitter? Yes, I saw. That's so hot, dude. Steve is hot. Oh my god. Chat, Steve's hot, right? Oh, okay. And we also have BYO Games. This is a Thursday at 7.30. And then check it out at start.gg. Uh, slip backslash. In Boyle Heights, bro. Boyle Heights is always a good place to, you know, play video games with their homies. Uh, Thursdays. Basically, BYO stands for bring your own. And bring your own games. But a little bit more about Game Crossing. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, we, you, uh, like the people here on the top, you actually see nose hairs. There is uh, Sybins and Fro. And then in the bottom is me and uh, Censored from Wave Dash. I have to say, I'm a very, very big fan of both Sybins and Fro. Oh, because Fro is so cool, man. Yeah, I met him dude, in person. I so down to earth. Such a good person, I have to say. Really, really. Also, big, the other uh, uh, the other thing that also is cool, like his personality, is his commentary, bro. His commentary is really good. He's not here today. He's not going to be here till about, I think he said the 17th, if I'm not mistaken. So he'll be back later. But right now, you got us commentating for you um but yeah sorry everybody you get you get stuck with us not the legendary fro but no. he'll be back soon don't worry and once again we are back to the festival of frights please check it out they also have just really really good traditional fighting games three down three thousand prize pop pool yes exactly exactly maybe you could win Who yeah knows? you, you want to win some money then get good at fighting games that that's how it works not get to mention check out wild smash wednesday 
really, really good weekly. And Rocket starts at 7.30. Hosted by the same people. Also hosted by Pal Gaming at the same place. Yeah, exactly. They're, uh, they also they have two brackets. They have the normal bracket, the normal 1v1s, and they have a wild bracket. Which is basically, usually they give a random category, and it's free to enter. Oh, so like, wonderful. Say like they would say, uh, care, <laughs> touch of death characters. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Steve, Kazia, Luigi. Honestly, that's that's pretty accurate. Steve, Kazia, you know, Pac-Man, <laughs> Luigi. I I saw on Twitter, um, hero. this <laughs> hero. I saw this thing on Twitter. So, um, it was a squad strike tournament at um, the big house, and I think it was one of the better players. But he fought. He he was fighting a ten-year-old kid. The kid said, "Can we go FD?" He said, "Sure." And then so it says his squad strike is three v three. Yeah. He brought out Luigi, Steve, and Kazuya on FD. Oh my god. And he was like, guys, I made a mistake. <laughs> this is why you never agree or gentlemen See, FD. See, now, like, ever since I've been, like, ever since Wave Dash and I've talked to, like, Nick District about it, um, I never agree to PS2, ever. Really? Yes, I never agree to PS2. This one, uh, the, I have changed. I'm a changed man. He's no longer so powerful. Guys, I'm NorCal. I am. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. No. NorCal still kind of does it. I'm East Coast, guys, but. <laughs> I'm an East Coast boy. You gonna join Florida's competitive scene? Sure, yeah. Hungrybox. Let me live in your apartment, bro. If I'm not mistaken, you actually uh, got him to wear your shirt on stream. He didn't wear it. He brought it out. But he did say. Uh, this is actually at his. Uh, I think he has a place in SoCal. That he uh, like owns or whatever. I don't remember. He probably has a property out here. Yeah, he's got a property in SoCal that he usually streams from. So he was like, you know what? From it was, it was actually after wait after he won Wave Dash, by the way. He was like, you know, uh, actually no, this was the day before he won Wave Dash. Mm -hmm. And he was, oh no, my bad. I'm so stupid. This was maybe a week after he won Wave Dash, actually. All right. No, if I'm not mistaken, I I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's the, the day after. Okay, the day after Wave Dash, and he was like, you know what? I was actually wearing it on the train ride. Yeah, that's oh. what I heard about. Yeah, he transit. said that. Join the Discord, Plasma. Already. In I'm in it. Yeah. Join Now. Frozen in chat like Plasma. Join the Discord. You get, to, you get to chat with Fro, bro. I know, man. You get I to did. be homies with Fro. Back when MSM was a thing, oh my god, I had a talk with him. Dude, so cool. I I got commentary time with Fro at MSMO. Really? Yeah. So my I'm jealous, my, my my first person was Vance. I mean, we all know Vance. Vance is the goat, the one of the admins at uh, Wave Dash. Um, but I also commentated with Fro, and that was a really fun time. That's actually how him and I met, and um, he added, uh, we added each other to our, each other's DMs, and yeah, we've been homies ever since. Really, really cool person. Yeah. I have to say, really nice, uh, like, local celebrity to me. But sure. he plays Incineroar. Come on, bro. You're going to tell me that that's what your quarrel was? Yes. Oh, my God. Mighty bro, Man bro, is just bro, upset. Bro, Mighty wait, Man bro, is just bro, upset wait, that bro, he gets wait. killed. No, by no, 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 no. I, I destroy his Incineroar. I beat his Incineroar. Okay? I'm not mad about that. I'm just saying, there's so many other characters, though. Actually, no, I can't complain because we have people like Sky J. There's Sky J, so I guess I, guess I can't dog on Incineroar because. Sky J's here. The character's hype, man. What do I? He what is hype. He's very hype. He, uh, I can't, I can't fight that. He is a very hype character. He's definitely a character, kind of like King from Tekken or Zangief from Street Fighter. Just a big boy with lots of grabs and just really, really hype combos for sure. Yeah. <laughs> down, down throw up B. Oh yeah, hundred percent. He's got just the right amount of cheese because. Uh, Lariat is just an awesome combo finisher. <laughs> Side B is so good as a See, command grab. The thing and is then if you get hit by down throw into immediate up B, it's tilting, but you just gotta respect it because it's Incineroar, man. It's right, Incineroar. it's Incineroar. Also, like, you can DI out of it. Yeah, and also not to mention, 
Like if you get hit oh, by down, not, if you get, doesn't spike. No, it doesn't, doesn't spike frame one. But if you get hit by down throw upbeat, you're just bad. See, I'm just gonna say it, skill issue. There was a couple of times where I actually hit uh, down throw into down air on Destroyer, and he was so upset. Bro, actually Destroyer's fine. I'm actually uh, happy for Destroyer because he's finally learning that you will lose in bracket. Wow. Now this is uh just because you play a top 10 character doesn't mean you're gonna be winning them all my friend yeah no it's definitely one of the things when you come to these local scenes you soon realize that if you see a low tier that spells danger even more so than a top tier an example we were watching rko's game he was fighting a doc yes and so he almost it was lost really 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 it was close. it was puff and doc then this is a plus one puff I think. Yeah. Well, oh, look. There's an even better example. He, um, not not RKO, but Destroyer. He almost lost to a Little Mac. That was the. I one. lost to that Little Mac in, really? re in Res. So okay, I'll tell you what happened. So it's game two. Okay. Uh, I was at 30 percent. No, no, 20. He hits KO punch. I get saved by block. Yet, for some ungodly reason, I bounce off of block, block breaks, I bounce off the floor, and I still die. Like, I look like I was gonna live, but I die. I had 20%. I bounce off block. That's pretty strange, considering that it's such a low percent, and honestly, at 20%, you probably shouldn't be dying at Steve, unless you got hit, like, on a platform. Where'd you get hit from? Mm, it was on Bastion. On a platform? No, it was, on, level. it was on ground level. Oh, no, wait, was it Bash? No, it was F. It was FD. It was FD. But even then, unless it was thirty, it was either twenty or thirty. If it's thirty, then yes, it will kill. But if you're at like twenty, but I, you're probably still the bad. fact that I bounced off block and I died. I would have thought that. Uh, I would have thought block would have saved me. Yeah, it would have probably thing is, cut your momentum okay, in half. So the thing is, I there was red ring on on block. Then there was red ring on floor, cause remember the momentum's still there. Yeah. Then I but still, that should be I cut in half. It. Did I? It didn't even matter if I it, it doesn't even matter if I di'd in or out. It doesn't really matter because I'm going straight up. I'm trying to angle it just so I don't go up. So I, I think I di'd in, unless I di'd in and up. But I think I di'd in and down. So then. I was trying, I don't know how, but like, I was like, yo, I live. And then like the second I popped off, like I died. I was like, bro. And then you just started, I'm just, after that, I, I, that's when I DQ'd. I was like, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, You're like, I'm just going to go comment. Like, here's Blazer. the thing. I fought Skillager and I almost had game one. And then I choked. And that cause I SD'd. And then I beat the Palu in losers. And then I had to fight Arkeo. Game three. I killed myself twice with Elytra. And then freaking after just just after I lost to the and then against the Mac, I died at zero on my first stock because of Elytra. Again. Again. This sounds like a you problem, bro. I gotta say. I think it's cause I'm playing on cause I was training with IV online, and I think it's cause of the the latency. My timing with stick jump and B to place blocks is different. Uh have a hard time believing you. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but we're gonna be jumping into losers semis. We got Shir Yasha and Navi. Navi, really, really talented Peach player. And if I'm not mistaken, Shir Yasha is probably one of the best uh, plants in SoCal. I'm gonna say he might be one of the top in the world. Cause Makes no sense. one plays plant. Yeah, probably. I would say like in the world, top ten, top five maybe. I would say that probably Navi's pretty up there with the Peach too. There's not very many Peach players. One thing that I do like about Peach players is like their float cancels. Those are always cool. It's cool, but there's something about it that just doesn't seem... I don't want to say honest, but it just seems so strange. You know something that's not honest? Steve. Float, no. Flo uh, wait, about Peach. Float cancel spamming down air on shields. Because the thing is, it's safe. So really? you can, yeah. So she can just spam down air because it's so fast ab above your shield for however long she can float. Interesting. So she basically... That's a lot of shield pressure. For yeah, it, it, it is. I was actually fighting a Jixel, a shout out to him, at a, a, um, at a tournament and he was just spamming it on me and I couldn't do anything. Yeah. 
you probably just don't have an option that's going to be fast enough in order to... Well, I, think I was also playing Inkling then. Oh, but that back air right there. That back air hitting like a truck, but the end lag is horrendous. Holy crap. Oh, the turn of combos. Oh, my, oh God. my. Almost got stage spiked by that side dude. Dude, okay, so the Peach turnips are so cool. Like, yes, it's RNG. There's only three that are different from the rest. The rest are reskins. It's Stitch Face, Dot Eyes, Winky Face. And then there's also, I don't, does she still get Laser Sword or no? No, it's not possible. The three things that she will get is Saturn, Saturn, bomb. a bomb, or just a normal turnip. Or or I guess turnip. Stitch, face is, Stitch Face is like a thing, but that's also just a different type of turnip. Well, so. yeah, also Winky Face and Dot Eyes, because those ones do more damage as well. But I think the order of damage is Stitch Face, Dot Eyes, then Winky Face. So, Winky Face is definitely the most common, right? Uh, the most common of the strongest, I believe so. Okay, Rapid Jab right here. Shiro Yasha racking up the damage, using the Poison a lot. Poison doesn't do any hit stun, but if you can, like, get him in a grab and Poison... Oh, <laughs> that's gonna do a lot yeah, of damage. lots of damage. Now. That's, at, like, an instant at least of 40%. Yeah, like... Honestly, plants uh, poison be doing as much as uh, Bowser Flame Breath. Yeah, I think even more. And it's at a yeah, occasions. but it's because it does no no hit stun. Yeah, it's so all I, damage based. Yeah, no hit stun. But that's why it's so good, is because it's just really really good. It makes you think Ooh. twice. Patui. And also, if you do challenge it in the wrong positioning, you can get hit by a concealed uh, down beat from front of flame. Uh oh, I don't think that was a smart idea. Oh my gosh, Navi still lived. I didn't think he was going to make it. Uh oh. Alright, uh, Shiryasha being on the ledge right now. This isn't too good for him. Uh oh, he really needs an answer. Okay, good use of the down special. At this special. point, Shiryasha probably going to be fishing for either a trade with Patui or an up throw. Maybe a down special. Like, Maybe. get it. Yeah, back up throw. Full up throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Up throw. Smashville. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, uh, if it was a lower percent, you'd probably throw Navi off to the side and try to snipe with down B, most likely. Yeah, try to set up for an uh, off-stage play. Would have been a smart option. Yeah, one thing I do like about plants down B is, like, if you do it in the air, you can angle it a little downwards. And then also, like, if it's on the floor, it just yeah. tips over. It's a really good angle in order to uh, try to snipe, like, low recoveries. So. Weird thing with it, though, is Neck has no hitboxes or hurtboxes. It's only the head. It's the so, head in the pot, right? Right, the head in the pot. But I have seen people spike the head. You can spike the head, yes. I've seen it's really, so really funny. Weird. It's so funny. It just looks completely strange because you hit like piranha plant's head. Right, you hit but it. But then the body and it like snaps right back. It's so weird. It basically if you spike it the next frame it just goes back to normal. Yeah, really, really strange. It's so weird. Basically he breaks his neck to get back in. My bad, his stem. Oh, he did He did grab the turn right there. Oh, but that's not going to do much. Definitely in matchups with characters like this, you're going to have to learn um, item combos if you want to win. I, not, I mean, not learn too much, but at least have some knowledge. Yeah, at the very least, you're going to want to learn how to play around these items. Right, but if, if you have them and you can use them to your advantage, especially with a character like Plant, maybe like Turnip Nair could be a useful or Turnip Forward. Or, yeah. Uh, oh, that was so lucky. Ooh, the gimp with the with the Plant copter right there. Oh my I don't goodness. even. I don't know if you saw that, Mighty Man, but Shiryasha literally clipped a turnip, and it beat out the turnip on uh, the ascent. With plant copter. Yeah. Plant copter? With plant copter. Yeah. Ow. Pl plant copter doesn't even have high priority. I guess he barely clipped it with just the hitbox. Um, the um, hitbox. Yeah, that could be it. It could have just clanked right there. Oh, good Patui. Yeah, Patui actually it comes, comes out fast. It comes. It, I don't think it's frame one, but it comes out very early. It can. It. I mean, I would say it's close to frame one, but good snipe right there, using the down special. I love watching Chiriyasha utilize uh, down B in such a creative way. Because usually, once you see it, it's like, oh, you're going to stall off stage with it, or you're going to use it in order to cover the ledge. He uses but it in he neutral. Use it, yeah, he uses it not only in neutral, but he uses it in disadvantage. And he also uses it in order to Ooh. stuff out jumps. But look at this, this big damage from... Yeah, oh, the up tilt right there. Yeah, <laughs> the up Such a unique up tilt. Honestly. Yeah, it's just wiggle. Oh, good forward right there. Dude, that... Whatever whatever the heck is in that pot, I need to know how, how much... How much is he packing? How much? I mean, my, how, how much is that dirt packed? Oh my God. How much is that dirt packed? That's what I meant to say. 
Oh, I'm be utilizing yeah, the super armor. Survivor. Dude, Dude. Shiryashi is just like lasting for so long. Bro's got mud in his pond. That's crazy. We're gonna clip that, by the way. I know. That's not what I meant to say. Uh, it's okay. Tag. Dirt. But looking like a very, very convincing win for Shiryashi right now. Because Navi is struggling pretty hard. Yeah, one thing, I'm not saying too much from Navi is back air. Yeah, I'm not, not seeing too air. much shield pressure like in the corner. Right. Because <laughs> she's just so good at yeah, shield, shield pressure. Because she has Nair, back air, and down air to shield pressure. I mean, there's yeah. forward air too, but like, it's kind of committal. Oh, no punish on that. That was very weak. I mean, she still. I will say though, turn him. Shiryasha is very aware and will utilize the low end lag off of uh, a beat. Like, yes. very, very little. This is looking a lot more close for Navi though. Yeah, and a bit more convincing of a lead in this game. Oh. Navi using the side B a lot. I mean, it's definitely a good burst move. Like, um, but the only problem with it is it's like if you miss, you have so much end lag. Yeah. I will say though, it's been working out pretty okay for the most part. It's because he's been using a close range. And also it bounces off shield, so it's relatively safe. Yeah, it's kinda a bit like a Pichu and Pikachu or Skull yeah. Bash. Especially gets a character like Plant. Plant doesn't really have anything to do. If he tries to buffer forwarder, it has a lot of startup, so it's gonna miss most likely. Because Navi could just do an air dodge. Ooh, getting you with the Patui still? Was it bouncing? I think yeah, it was bouncing I think on the floor. It forward. barely bounced, and that was a really good follow up with up air. I, 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 Patui only has one bounce, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, normal turn up. Yeah, there we go. Patui once again. You can't be rushing in like that. Even though, yes, you do have advantage because of your projectile. Sure, Yasha's always ready with the Patui. Using the down B in disadvantage, like you say, and turn up gone. This is very interesting. But yeah, approaching with both the turn up and an aerial. Unfortunately, Navi hasn't been getting really, like, anything strong. Like, yeah, no, I haven't he's landing a lot of, like, stray hits, and that's fine, but... The issue is that Shiryasha is getting a lot more kill confirms. Right. I oh, mean, that was an unfortunate there back to set stage. Peach does have moves that will work for stray hits. The only problem is like if she can, uh, if if Navi can just hit like, well, at early percents. If you can hit float cancel combos, that can rack up very fast. Interesting. Yeah. Like, uh, I believe I've seen some peaches rack up like 40 percent off of the float cancel combos. Ooh, the snipe with the. I, he should still be he's okay. still alive. Yeah. Plant copter busted, dude. I mean, it has very little protection, but it goes so it goes high. Really <gasps> Saturn, there he is. Saturn. Mr. Mr. Saturn. Such a good trade from Shuriyasha. Yeah. yeah. Look at that Nodders. Nodders in the chat. Nodders. Nodders. The FTC nod. Oh my God. That was really good too because that means that he did not have to deal with uh, Navi's Mr. Saturn. Yeah, Saturn is. He didn't have to gone. get his uh, the risk of getting shield broken for sure. I mean, I don't even know if Peach has anything to like do if you're shield broken like at early percent. So I'm starting to view Piranha Plant more like Snake, which is really really weird to like compare these two characters. But it's oh, just because that trading like yeah, grenade trading with like grenade, grenade explosions Patui, and Patui is in the same way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at this point you're just like, oh, I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, nice Patui snipe. The, oh, the barely kill, living. Though. Good yeah, He's gonna be using Patui again. And one thing that I'm not seeing Shiryasha do at all. That's actually usually um, a really good um, tech for oh. plant is down B and and poison. You know, like some people do down yeah. and poison, but I don't see that. You should be doing Patui dot eyes. Oh, but he wastes it. <gasps> Why would you do that? That was dot eyes. Oh no. Does he? Yeah. Oh shit. I think he's probably concerned uh, like too much with just trying to survive on stage. Right. That's I think, a big yeah, it's option. Dead. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I honestly, I would have just taken the hits. Taking the hits is probably a yeah. Miss. Dude, at this point, you're 160. Like, Take, you're like, gonna get killed with up get throw killed or a back air or like a Unless he was expecting Shiryashi to go for something. Yeah. Fair. Like, fair if he was gonna expect him to get closer, but that's gonna be a 3 0 for Shiryashi. That was a very convincing win for sure. So. Yeah. But, yeah, definitely an impressive showing. Hi. Hello. Hi. Destroyers you... waving across us oh. from the venue. Hi, so. Destroyer. Joe. Joe Mama. It's okay. Joe you mind passing me my water? 
It's in the bag over there. Oh. We've secured the bag. <laughs> Whoa. We got the water online. But about that match, though. Honestly, I feel like Navi had it last game. It's just the only thing is using a little bit more of those committal moves and not playing, like we've said, not playing the shield pressure safe game, you know? Because Peach can spam back air, can spam down air, Nair as well. well. I mean, not constantly, but like. I think sh I think that Navi should have been abusing uh, back air more. That's not just even just back air, but just all the safe options that right, Peach has in the right. corner. Because that's also, where he's going to get all of his damage from, is like turn up uh, edge guards and, and like then, throwing them off stage, right? I feel like if he ever launched um, Shiryasha like high, Shiryasha would just use Katui to s uh, stall his fall. So then that doesn't allow, that prevents Navi from going off stage and just forwarding him because he's gonna get traded with Patui unless he had really good advantage. But most of the time he was either in percent disadvantage or even. Yeah, fair. Which kind of sucks. But um, what else could help you get an advantage is the game lab smash. <laughs> you oh can God. use this tournament to get better and get an advantage against your other uh, fellow competitors. Fellow competitors, yes. Um, but also, we have another uh, tournament for you guys. There's still Smash Bros. there, but we also got other games, but usually the traditional fighters. The Festival of Frights, $300 in pop bonuses, baby! But go sign up now because signups will be ending soon. This is at the end of the month, so you gotta get ready. Not to mention, lots of uh, variety of traditional fighters there, so. Definitely something to look forward to. Dude, Street Fighter 6 looks amazing. Not only that, we also have Tekken 8 coming out, which yeah. I am very excited for. They're coming for. out the same year. I, man, at this point, dude, we need we need a Super Smash Brothers 6 at this point, man. But we need a new King of Fighters. What are you gonna do, man? Where is it? It's a bit more of an obscure fighter. It's not so mainstream. I but know. really, really cool. Oh yeah, I guess mainstream would be another Smash. But the thing is, the smash is perfect. No, I'm just kidding. This the one smash is not perfect. Is, it's pretty good in terms of balancing. It was good until DLC became a thing. If you're starting to sound a little bit like Myron right now. Myron is a complete, uh, incomplete defense of like traditional roster and just not allowing DLC in the game. Dude, honestly, I would, I don't know. I would say maybe. I feel like the only DLC that's like feels like a normal character is Piranha Plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Piranha Plant's like I would say super Piranha annoying. Plant, Banjo. Yo, Ban. ban Dude. Yeah, I would say Banjo. Oh my god. I'm gonna be honest. I don't ban like Banjo. Yeah, I, know, I would agree too. Yeah, but I, just, Wonder I don't like okay, Wonder Wing. Listen, listen. Yeah, Wonder Wing, but the end lag is atrocious. True. The, well, I guess I, also, I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm just trying to say from like predict online. it like Inkling Roller. Predict it like Inkling Roller, and boom, you win the matchup. Whoa! Because I see most banjos, they always use Wonder Wing when you're on ledge or when they're on ledge. That's it. Yeah. Because if you're on ledge, what it's going to force you to do is either hang on ledge and it's going to hit you, or they're going to read your jump getup, or they're going to read your normal getup. That's fair. And if you do an attack getup, you're going to lose. Would you say that there's anyone else on that list of like the DLC that feels uh, like a base roster mediocrity? Because I feel like the only other one that could potentially be maybe is Joker. no, not Joker. I was thinking maybe. Uh, oh man, I'm drawing a blank right now. But anyways, we are gonna have grand final show. Y'all should Wait, not maybe who? I need to know this. Violet? Uh, no. <laughs> What's oh. the last one? Oh, Sora, there you go. Sora mm. feels a little bit base roster. Man, the character has... <laughs> Nair trains, Nair trains. Nair trains, but we also have Pikachu, so, you know. Actually, that's true. What Pikachu is, built, is like built-in roster DLC. That's, so that's true. Right. But this is looking really, really cool. I am excited because this is going to be a run back of Shiryasha and Game Race. Shiryasha actually may... Could, he could take this home. 
Uh, but it's gonna be very difficult, especially because Plant not being the type of character that can deal super well with zoners. Yeah, this is definitely looking like an uphill battle for Shuriyasha, especially in this game one. Pretty convincing lead from uh, Game Race right now. Oh, using the poison already. Oh, trying to condition and try to get the back here, but was not able to. Hydrant is out right now. Shuriyasha kind of looking for answers to try to get this first stock. Uh-oh, Galaxian, the re-grab. Uh-oh, 97? Dude, just big damage. And trying to look for that kill with the Forest Mask. That up should be an throw. up throw. Yeah, Even with bit minor greedy. rage, nothing. Rage starts at 90. I will say one thing that will really benefit Shiryasha in this matchup, if he utilized it, is trying to catch the fruits uh, once they hit the shield. Because all you really need to do is shield and press A. Stuff like... Um, like orange and apple and just like the smaller ones even uh stuff like what is it uh bell can be a little bit risky to try to grab right because bell lasts forever yeah bell does last forever that was really good at guarding the downer. downer and doesn't look like we're gonna be getting an even count for the stocks right now and we could possibly be seeing a 3-0 uh-oh good up throw okay but that stale. doesn't kill it is stale it's stale and no rage no rage? All right, that's going to be a two to one now. Game Ray still in lead with his stocks. He's got, oh, I thought it was Melon. It was actually Galaxian. Okay. Trying to use that Nair. Yeah, poison. trying to go for that grab inside the poison cloud too. Oh, that, okay. Good choice of Patui, but the up throw into the up air. Interesting choice of using an F smash, but once again, going to be using Patui. Um, for, to, for the trade every single time. I think Game Race is starting to respect Patui a little bit more and play around it a little bit better. Well, it's like, he doesn't have to approach, though. It's not Peach. He doesn't have to approach. I mean, yeah, Peach doesn't have to either. He can still try to uh, attack from a distance, for sure. Especially like, with a good tether grab. You can try to grab him and punish it. Great up, up smash. smash. Wow. Like, I will say, I... This is the first time I've been seeing a Pac-Man use up smash so much. Yeah, and so land so many of them. Yeah, the thing with up smash, like like we said, there's no scoop and also very unreliable. But sure, Yasha, I mean, my bad. Game race definitely been hitting every single one, and it works somehow. I mean, let's see, is there there's is it Blinky? Blinky, 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 Blinky uh, Clyde, Pinky and, then and Pinky. Clyde. Yeah, Pinky. So, yeah. Got the four ghosts, everybody. Inky. Wait, no. Blinky. Hold on. Is it Inky or Blinky first? Inky, Blinky, Pinky, Clyde. Oh. Inky is red. Blinky is blue. Pinky is pink. And Clyde oh, yeah, is no. orange. <laughs> Clyde. Immediate grab. Nothing off of it. But I'm very excited to see how Shiryas is going to try to adapt because that was definitely an unfortunate uh, loss, I think, back in the winter semis. Yeah. Oh, going to be using Patui once again. Shiryas actually adapting a lot more, already getting a lot more damage, not allowing um, Game Race to charge any fruit whatsoever. You saw he's been having to resort to uh, cherries a lot more. You saw that. Yeah, just trying to get anything that he off, especially. Ooh. Yeah, this stuff be looking like Steve struggling. Why would you nair on that? Uh oh, and the back here right there. Oh my goodness. Sure, Yasha got the momentum right now. This is looking pretty promising. <gasps> no tech. No I mean, way. Edgar situation. Spike? No. Uh, nothing off that. Yeah. Honestly, Honestly, it's still good though. Yeah, he I. Cover the get up option. If I was him, I probably wouldn't go for it either. Yeah. Very committal, but not a kill yet. I just realized neither of these characters have scoops on their up smashes. No, no, definitely, definitely, uh, what's it called? Piranha Plant has a scoop. And Pac-Man actually technically does have a small hitbox in front of him. But really? You just never see it, yeah. It's uh, kind of like, um, uh, Marth's up smash and Lucina's up oh, smash. Oh, so it's just a very unreliable scoop. Yeah, and also, well, the thing is, is that with Marth and Lucina, it connects reliably on the ground. But with Pac-Man, it like just straight up misses. It sometimes sends too far, uh, oh. like behind Pac-Man. So that's why you don't really see it too often, which is why Game Race is opting to actually only hit people uh, with up smash in the air, so. All right, well, sure, Yasha, I kinda <laughs> looking like he may possibly die right here. Yeah, and I called it. Oh no, this isn't looking too good for him. He had such good lead and all of a sudden Game Race is just pulling up with all of these tricks. But Game Race somehow still surviving. This is still looking pretty doable though. It's gonna yeah. Be up throw. Again, he's been trying to pull the trigger on up throw like a little up bit throw. too much. But no, he yeah, didn't. rebound everybody. 
All right, that's gonna kill one one apiece right now. Shiryasha still has a chance to try to bring this back. Um, I wait. love the fact that he's still using. Who took uh, game one again? Game one was. Uh, wasn't it game race? Game race was supposed to be doing it. We'll get that fixed up pretty soon, yep. everybody. But also the hydrant right there. Uh oh, Bell, but Game Race is off stage once again. That was completely Ooh. just an okay trade. Yeah, good back air right there. Another Patui. More poison. Yeah, kind of just conditioning him there. But good get up option. That might Ooh. be a hit. Yeah, just barely despawned before it uh, got the chance to hit Pac Man. So Yasha's looking for a grab throw. forward throw. All right, game race at 142 right now. More poison. Oh <gasps> that God. almost landed, dude. It was good, but the thing is that game race was definitely like that was expecting connected. that. Down. Oh, the yeah. Yep. And we're also gonna get production two. Uh, it's one one. Um, sure. Game race one game one. We'll get that fixed, everybody. Yep. We apologize. But, yeah, it's going to be 1-1 one, one now. Game race is kind of looking a little uh, worked up over that second game. You know, he, he has all this momentum through the entire tournament, and all it takes is a plant. Piranha plant. Honestly, low-tier character. But I'm starting to get my mind changed ever since I've been watching Shiryasha because... He uses the character so well in like different ways. It's unique to like the normal tech you would be seeing. Yeah, I think it's really, really fun to watch a piranha plant that knows what it's doing. Right, also like just using Patui as an optimal trading tool, like it's so, like you don't see that much. You really don't. Good follow up off with the uh, orange into a grab. Yep. Oh, going for a jab. One, two right there. Shiryasha already at 50%. Uh oh, Gamer Ace is going to be dragging them off of the stage. Plant Copter does save Shiryasha though. Oh, Game Race, good F tilt onto that Hydrant, and a Melon's going to be coming out. I will say that Piranha Plant is surprisingly tall. Like, I've noticed he's been getting hit by a lot more things than you would normally expect it to. Well, Piranha Plant does have crouching. He's probably got, an, he's got, not, I'm not gonna say the best, but he's got a really good crouch. Yeah, de 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 definitely the best crouch belongs to Snake. That stuff, that stuff, uh, I'm pretty sure he gets around the same size as like Pichu or Pikachu when he crouches. Yeah, about the same. Now we're trying to see some signature ledge trapping from Shiryasha right now. Oh, he barely did not release it on the right time. Oh my god, he's looking for a back here. Yeah, sure. Yasha is really going to need an answer right now so we can try to make it two stock apiece. This isn't looking too well. He's fishing for the back here, but that... Oh! He traded with the Patui once again. Apple's going to be coming out, though. Was she an up throw? No. Good DI coming out from Gamer Race. That should be a rebound, though. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're good. At, At this point, he's just been, like, using uh, up throw to get, like, a reliable kill. Because he yeah. hasn't been landing too many straight hits, such as, like, raw aerials or... He can't hit back air. Like, usually the only time I've seen him hit back air is when, like, Gamerius is off stage. Yeah. Or, like, in the air. Also, like, plants... Smash attacks aren't the best. Yeah, it's a little bit too committal. And also, there is Sour Spot on forward smash. And I think the only real... Smash attack, which is uh, that you're gonna want to hit, is up smash because it kills mad early. Yeah. But, but down smash isn't that great. It's pretty no. standard, and forward smash is a little bit too unreliable because you can hit the uh, like end of it, mm -hmm. and I'm, I don't remember if it's the the end of it or if it's the closer it is, like the better. Oh. But yeah, there's like a sweet spot on it. So. Oh, he still gets hit by Hydra somehow. Uh oh, the air dodge, but I think he's fine because it's plant copter. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> oh, using the down B in disadvantage, like always. Another plant copter once again. Sure, Yasha at max rage. Patui doesn't kill either. 
Oh, almost hitting that Patui snipe. Gonna be opting out for the poison. The up tilt doesn't kill either. Oh my gosh, both of these players are above 150. It's so funny seeing both of these players at such high percent because they're only comfortable with killing each other once they're like bad to 150. <laughs> yeah, they don't really go fishing for anything, but good up tilt gonna be coming out from Game Race to take Shiro Yasha's second stock. This guy should be... Oh my goodness, He's looking for a Patui snipe or... A like grab. Throw. Yeah, exactly. Good dash tag, trying to tackle on a little bit of damage before you do it. Ooh, Patui. Oh my gosh, still doesn't kill, even with the kill spark. Yeah, I think right now, up throw may kill as well with like maybe... Oh, no, now it's definitely going to kill. Oh, Patui snipe, there you go, like you said. Um, he's got 55% on him. This isn't looking too well, especially when Galaxian's going to be showing up on the screen. This is looking rough. Game Race got definitely all the advantage state in the world right now. Ooh, good setup right there, but Shiro Yasha just going above it. Good down throw to forwarder combo. The bread and butter for all plants. Ooh, trying to go for the down throw, uh, drag down Nair right there. You saw that? Yeah, I did. This is looking kind of rough. And positioning. Good Ooh. weave around with that. My bro's bobbing and weaving. This is still not looking too great. He's gonna have to watch out for this Hydrant. Uh, oh, stay under the platform. There you go. Avoiding it. Yeah, he's gonna have to, Even though Plant's like... I believe Plant's like the bottom of heavyweights, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Um, he, <laughs> it, it looks like he can still live a little bit longer to some light attacks. Oh man, 174. This isn't looking great. Oh my god. At this point, Game Race is mostly just looking for an opportunity to land a back throw. Yeah. But oh, the yeah, back air. Landing back air. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, ba Pac Man's back air, surprisingly, is not. It does have a it does have a, a sour hit on it. And it's not the strongest back air, you know. Oh, that was such a good jab. One, two, three. Yeah, good choice of not using the rapid jab. The rapid jab would have been way too committal. Because, you know, Game Race could fall out of it. Yeah, exactly. Gentlemen would have been so much better. Oh my god. This is close. This is still doable. Yeah, like, honestly, especially with max range, one back air could do it all. At this point, if Shuri actually lands an up touch, I am convinced that Game Race has a good chance of Oh dying. my god. Oh, that's not going to kill. Not, no. Probably At that point, he should have just gone with four throw for the DI mix up. Oh, that's. Down? Oh, what? <gasps> Oh my god, he didn't land it. He should have backed up a little bit. Uh oh, Plant Copter did run out, being forced to jump off of it. He still has legend tangibility. He's good. He's at 219, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Dude, that's what I'm talking about, though. He's trying to land it. Dude, he tried to land an up smash. See, he, early but you kill. see what he's... I, I think what he's trying to do by landing on the Hydra, he's been trying to use aerials to try to, like, um... Like, for, <laughs> force the, uh... Did the, you see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw that. that. Bro, let's get it. Show me your gritty. Show me your gritty. The kid hit uh, the gritty, bro. <laughs> right behind Shiryasha, man. Oh, my God. Bro, bro's hitting the gritty. So, uh, I think he was trying to use aerials to try to, like, make it bounce up and down. You know, constantly. Because, surprisingly, Hydra can bounce a crap ton for no reason. Yeah, it's kind of similar in regards to like uh, Mew Butler's shot put, except it only bounces like three times. Yeah, shot put only bounces three. I think Hydrant can bounce up to, to like five. five or six. Yeah. But we are going to head into round four of this first set Grand Finals. Both of these players are so... I feel like one of the best things that I'm seeing from this set is that the first sock is so important for establishing a lead. Yeah. But it's so back and forth. It gets very, it, like, yeah, like, some of the games seem very one-sided, but then it always turns, like, it, the tables always turn. Like, I've always seen, I feel like in a lot of the games, Shiro Yasha always starts off really strong, and then Game Race just somehow to bring it back, like, especially being that type of character of the zoner doing stray hits with his projectiles and some chip damage, you know? I think Game Race is taking, like, his usual amount of time, which is, like, pretty long, in order to get, like, a kill, right? Ooh, oh my gosh, the water with the S smash was beautiful, and it gave him a slight charge, but Tui does not kill, unfortunately. Let's see what his ledge option is right now. Jump oh, just over. a jump, get him. Yeah. Alright, we're seeing a lot more for Tui. Good back here right there, using the poison, the condition, and get the roll get up right there. You saw that. This is looking pretty all right. Yeah, Last stage play coming out from the game range right now. At the moment, it's very even. Like very, like you said, very back and forth. Um, sure, Yasha having a slight disadvantage, but ain't nothing that Plant can't, uh, you know, come back from. Especially him being so heavy. 
But the only sucky thing about this matchup is that Pac-Man has the frame beta. Yeah, I think up close, Game Race does have the advantage because you're just able to like break out of uh, Plant's like big combos. But I think with Plant, he does have more priority because I am seeing um, not only Pitsui and Clank, I am seeing that Downby is uh, like beating out aerials such as like back air and forward air. Honestly, I think for this matchup, the best range for Shiro Yasha is mid to like burst in mid range about that. Yeah, I feel like he's a little bit limited. Because when it comes to um, like close, super close range, Pac Man's gonna be winning frame death. Yeah. But if it's gonna be long range, Pac Man's a zoner. Mm -hmm. So we can't really get in. So Both of these characters are definitely just trying to put each other in disadvantage, which is hilarious. <laughs> and they're both trying to be like ledge trapping with. Both uh, characters yeah, having both three these, tools. Both these ledge trapping, like, yeah, like um, you know, yeah, there's so for, Yeah, for Plant, it's Patooie, uh, Patooie and Cloud, and uh, yeah, the Downbeat. And then with Pac-Man, Pac -Man, it's Fruit. Um, it's Fruit, Hydrant, Hydrant, but you can also use Trampoline. Right, yes, up B as well. Yeah. God damn. This oh, the big damage. damage. This could, yeah, my, oh, my God. No way, he went for that. Yeah, that's gonna He's be He's like, a if I wanna good. end grand finals, I wanna end it in style, my friend. Holy crap. That whole time, Game Race was. That caught me crazy. off guard, yeah. dude. No, because the whole time, Game Race has been very reserved in his edge guarding. He's mostly just doing, like, projectiles off stage with Hydrant and, like, bonus fruit. But that's like the first time that he's really gone off stage, and he has a ton of priority with side B. Right, so side B actually, really... when he's blinking red, he actually has intangibility. Yeah, that it's was so actually stupid. a pretty good option. It was pretty ballsy, but very, the thing very. Is, he had two stocks. So yeah, he had even, two if stocks. He, even if he missed, he also sure he actually was at ninety. It was really good that uh, Game Race was very confident in order to go out like that. Th yeah, that was clean, my friend. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> He's like, this is gonna hit. Well, like, like you said, he the mix-up caught Shiryasha off guard. Yeah, because I think both characters or both players were always like, oh, they're gonna, the, my opponent's gonna stay on stage and he's gonna wait for me to try to get up so I can be ledge trapped or I can be edge guarded slightly just from you know the edge. Yeah. But this time he actually went out with a full edge guard. So. Well, uh, before we ended out, one thing, huh? I'm gonna do an ad reel, and then you guys can like. Play us out. All right. Um, but I'm gonna actually leave stream running for families. All right. So uh, yeah. So play the ad reel and then play us out. And okay. So we're gonna be doing one more ad reel before we go, and uh, then we'll do our closing. Don't worry, stream will still be on. Uh, there will be friendlies that you guys can just watch uh, if you just want to stick around. Um, but. Him and I are going to go play some fun. These or we might just go home. I'm not sure yet, but... Yeah, it's really depending. Honestly, I'm very hungry. I probably should have gone with Wiz to, to go, eat. go eat. Bro, them chili cheese fries were... Blessing. Where is it? Where is he anyways? I don't know. But anyways, we're going to have one final ad reel. Big shout out to... That's uh, BYOG, never for, don't forget about that tournament. That tournament's so good. Uh, Thursdays, 7.30. Yeah, check yeah. it out. Go to StarGG now. Um, also, Game Crossing. Go visit. Go visit the website. Also, follow our. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Um, also, maybe a little a little plug for us. Um, I'll follow my Twitter at MightyMan underscore SSB. I think I'll be a little bit reserved with mine, but uh -huh. yeah, very much uh, recommended to go check out all of these uh, amazing uh, Twitter accounts by these really, really cool organizations because we're a grassroots community and it's right. really, really nice to see uh, the local scene like come together and try to build something that's really special because yeah. we're not quite as mainstream as the other stuff such as like UMBC or even Dragon Ball Fighters. But yeah, we're very like small group communities. So it's really nice to do that. But. Not yet. Uh, but also, like us people in uh, in SoCal, we have we don't we might not have all the tournaments that are on the East Coast. But we have two really big ones. Yeah. We have Genesis Eight in San Jose, and we have um, Main Stage in Ontario. Yeah, I think we do got some pretty cool stuff here in Cali. We also have Wave Dash now in San Diego. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. We love Wave Dash. Yeah. We love you guys at Wave Dash. But speaking of which, Wild Smash Wednesday, go check it out every Wednesday. Really, really good. 
almost. I think it's um, the last one. Um, one thing. And don't forget about Land Hero. Land Hero, they run epic events. I've also commentated at some of their events as well. Usually uh, their weekly ones is at the Quickly Cafe. But they've been doing um, the ones at Dave & Buster's and also at the Hollywood Hotel as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's going to be it for our rad ad reel. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. This has been your uh, weekly dose of Super Smash Saturday. Um, there's going to be a little bit... What? There's going to be a little bit more uh, friendly, so if you want to stick around, don't forget. Also, um, follow Pal Gaming. ton of epic people here. We love them. Uh, they're epic homies of Game Crossing. And um, stay tuned. If you, if, one, if you want to come play, we have Wednesday. Wild Smash Wednesday. There's the free Wild Bracket, which is the category that I talked about. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you later. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.